Hi guys, this is just a very quick clip um, to show how to convert your um, future pinball tables from a two screen layout which was on my other uh, mini table to a three screen layout which uh, I, I'm building at the moment. So we need to convert the tables from two to three screens. Uh, I'm just going to show you very briefly how to, how to do that. I've got the table uh, loaded here so I'm just going to press play, you'll see the cable the table kick in. Okay, this is uh, Baywatch. You can see here that the uh, the DMD is on the uh, on the back glass. The back glass is laid out so that it shows this strip along here. Um, so basically, what I want to do is I want to move this uh, to here, uh, and I want this 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 part of the back glass to to disappear. So. Um, the way to do that is very simple. If, if you just like moving the DMD, uh, you move your mouse uh, and just you can just move that around. And the way I've got this lay, laid out is that this screen here in Windows is below. It's not to the right. To the right is uh, is fine if you're only using Visual Pinball. But if you want to use Future Pinball with three screens, it's uh, a bit problematic. So the layout is the, the play field. Um, and then to the right is the back glass and then below is the, 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 the small DMD screen I've got here. So as you can see just by dragging that down it's in there but it's too big. Again we need to resize. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to, on this screen here, and again I see some of you still having problems with this, uh, show the window border, right click show the window border. That enables you to resize. So we're just going to resize it to a rough, to the rough size that I want in here and then drag it down again. Yeah, okay, you can see that's a little bit small, so let's just, let's just move it around like that, make it a little bit, a little bit bigger. What we need to do now is just get rid of this. We just move your mouse into the back glass and right click, it brings up the back glass server settings. This is done on the fly if you like. You can see here where it says grill on the first one, it says standard. So if it's, if it's set as by default to either show this or not show this, uh, that's what it'll go by. You can actually set it to visible, so that this is this is uh, 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 for this specific table or always always shown, or we can have it hidden. So if I click hidden here, and then save those settings, and then click, just click OK. It says it needs to restart. Close that again, and then come back onto the main screen. If I come back onto the main screen and click within that the play field, uh, get the thing running again. Now I'll just press F3. Pressing, F, pressing F3 uh, restarts the table. So if I press F3, then the DMD should remain where we wanted it, and the, the backlash should now not have that. Okay, so there you go. That bit where the, the DMD and the speaker grill is, is, uh, is shown is now uh, gone, and the, uh, the picture now takes up the whole of the... Uh, the, whole of the uh, the back glass, the DMD is now on a third. One more very quick thing I want to show you is, is uh, uh, using this table as an example is how to get a D DMD when there doesn't appear to be a DMD available. That's the message that you can see coming up on this part here. You can see that there's no DMD. If you press Alt and Tab, Alt and Tab will bring up the list of screens that are available. You can see that there's a play field, the back glass. The form DMD, that's that there, that forms part of that there, but there's no DMD as you can, uh, as the type that we want to, to come into here. So um, basically what we're going to do very quickly is just drop out of the, uh, drop out of the table into the editor. If you click the script button on the left hand side, it brings up the table script. And what we're going to look for, we're just going to do a quick search for the word hidden. Hidden. Now there's a there's a, a variable uh, here or a, a constant called uh, hidden uh, in this table initialization section here. Uh, hidden equals one. Basically, what we can do is, in order to bring up a, a DMD that's been hidden uh, purposefully by the the author of the table, I just change that to a zero. We don't need to save it. Uh, press play again, and hopefully we should be able to see a, a, DM, a DMD available. Okay. And it's come up into the top left hand corner where it usually is for a desktop. Um, so that's why they, they sometimes hide it, sometimes show it whether or not you're going to have it on a desktop or a cabinet. And again, using the same principle, I can just drag that around, uh, drag it up into the top, 
there, like this, and drag it down into this uh, screen here. Resize it as, we, as, uh, as required. Okay, make it, I usually do it about this big, about half of the screen height. Take it out of the screen, drop the border off it, pull it back into the position. Okay, there you go. Now and again, if you want it, you can, you can, you can hide this. Again, this has got no other information particularly. It doesn't explain very much of what's going on. So we can, uh, we can hide that. Again, just like, uh, if you can't see the bottom of this, this, this uh, um, dial window, just pull it out and drop it onto the main screen. And you can see here, okay, save the settings here. Okay, close. Uh, F3 to refresh the table again. Okay, and again, the back glass has lost that. And the information that was on that screen is, is, is on, is on, uh, on the DMD on the third screen. All right, I hope that helps. Uh, any more uh, uh, problems, or, or let me know in the comments, and I'll, I'll try my best to, uh, uh, to help. Uh, although. I, I can't go on there every day, so if, if you have a little patience, and I, I'll try to get around to everybody's, everybody's queries. Uh, okay, cheers guys, catch you next time, bye bye.